In this video, we are going to talk about how God will test you when your reality is or has been shifting because it will. In the thick of things, when you're experiencing some turmoil, when you're experiencing like some tough, tough, tough stuff, I look back and it's like, yeah, there's some tough stuff and you have to stay tough in the thick of those times. You have to stay tough in the suck. You have, you have no choice because you're being tested. You're being ultimately tested by God. Do you deserve this? Are you meant for this? You're going to be tested. Your, your strength is going to be tested. If you get weak in times where you must stay strong, you will fail the tests. He will place you below what you could have been thriving to achieve in your life. Tests can last for a year. Tests can last for like four years. You guys have no idea, man. Tests can last for a month. You just never know. If you're going through times and it's like super, 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 super tough, you have to keep going through those times. I had like years of test years and even when you break through don't expect everything to be done because there's going to be more tests on top of tests because you're being tested all the time just like a woman will test you so won't god for your own sake for your own life you'll be tested are you caught out for this? Do you deserve this? Am I going to place this in your life? Are you ready for this? You might not be ready for it. You got to keep working. You got to keep going. You got to make a positive change. You have to you have to break through. When you're being tested, you stay solid and you keep striving for excellence. You keep striving for the next level. Do not stop. Do not wilt. You would be surprised what you can make happen if you just kept going. I want most of you guys to surprise yourself. I want you to surprise yourself when it comes to the results that you acquire. I want to do the same. Exceeding expectations, demanding so much out of yourself that you will get what you desire out of life. Everything is a test. The universe has a very weird way of working. The world is very strange. Our realities are shifting all the time. Where we stand in the world is changing all the time. Our statuses are changing all the time. Who we're becoming changes all the time. Look at the version of yourself five years ago compared to now. Some of you might be pretty similar or the same or something. This is because you never worked nearly hard enough. If you look back at my life five years ago, it is night and day difference. It is a night and day difference because I demand so much of myself. And folks, hard work is not just compound pounding every day and it's like you're just going crazy every day exhausted just dragging out all the war like, like it's not really that damn difficult like it's really not that crazy it's more so about looking at each day that's in front of you of your entire life don't look too far ahead look at today what can i do today to win today what can i do in this 24 hour period to maximize this time that's in front of me every single day how much can i get done how many good things can i do how many good meals can i eat how many workouts can i get can i get in how much work can i get done around the house to keep things clean to keep things tidy how much can i work on my business how much can i work on my job how much can i do certain things whatever it might be how much can you can you can you get out of the day 
if you, let's say you're working a job, right? Corporate job. Let's say you show up to your job so you can get money so you can keep living. After your job, how much time can you squeeze out in your day to work on something else that's going to replace your job? That's what our time in front of us comes down to, folks. Some people will stay at a corporate job forever because they never spent their time wisely outside of their job. They had the nerve to, I want to just have fun after work. I just want to do whatever after work. And you've never, imagine that time that you spent having fun all the time after your work. Imagine all that time for the last five or 10 years if you built that into a side hustle. What it could have done for your life, where you could have been. These are the tests that are going to come. How bad do you want it? Where, where is God gonna place you on earth? What is your life meant to be? What are you going to squeeze out of a day? And, and it's not even that you're just going crazy all the time because you will burn out. It's about how consistent can you stay? You're, like, you're going you're gonna to meet like certain thresholds. How consistent can you be on a day-to-day -day basis to squeeze out as much as you can without burning out? With staying on top of your stuff and squeezing lots up out of the day. Every day counts for yourself, even on Sundays. You make every day count. You use every day wisely. That's who's going to win. It's not about looking too far ahead. I'm going to do this at this time and all this stuff. Look at every day that's in front of you and the results just come. People are way too busy and consumed and staring into their results. Who cares? The only thing you should care about is a, is a 24 hours every single day you have in front of yourself. That's all you should care about. That's all you ever have. That's all we ever have every single day. That's what you should be concerned about. Not what you're going to do in five years from now. If you really want to do what you want, what you want in five years from now, look at, look at every single day in front of yourself. What can I squeeze out? How consistent can I stay in my building process, in my building phases of what I'm putting my energy into? What can I do? That's what you have to ask yourself. It's consistency. I've been very consistent over the last 10 years. It started with the gym. It started with fitness. It started with building my body into the most confident thing I could possibly be living in. Because it's my soul, it's my smarts, it's my wits, it's my intelligence in this human body. So how can I use this to make everything else work? You build your body like a brick shit house. This is how I done it anyways. You build yourself, you gain so much strength, so much confidence, and your mind goes right with it. You start to think differently because you have so much confidence because you're jacked. You're strong. It's not even about how you look. It's how you feel in the mind. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a mind and body connection. It goes hand in hand. It's not even look at me. I just feel so confident. It's just your mind changes when your body changes. Like, let's say this, every single day before the gym, when I walk into the gym, by the time I walk out, I feel different. I feel like a renewed version of myself because I went in there, I worked very hard. I changed my identity. You have to change your identity as a person. That's what you have to do. Things will change. But nothing is going to change if you don't change your identity. You have to continue to seek certain things that's going to change you. Spice things up. Get to work. Get on your shit. This is how you pass tests. You fail tests by staying too complacent. You don't want to bad enough. You don't want to go through things you probably should be going through. 
you don't want to bet enough. You're neglecting certain parts of self-improvement. You can't. You have to go all out. You have to force your identity to change. That's what you have to do. And you will do it with consistency. You can't, you can't just want it for a day. You can't just want it for a week. You have to be consistent with this stuff over a long period of time, and it changes your identity. You change it a little bit every day by going to the gym and coming back. You change it a little bit, but think about how much you're going to change your identity if you're so consistent in the things you're doing that is good. Imagine your identity and your level of confidence and self-esteem if you build something valuable over a long period of time. Your whole world changes. These are the tests that you will be going through. And as you're working towards your things, you're, you're going to get thrown curveballs and everything else to try to like drag you off that path. The devil's going to try to make you doubt yourself. Certain things is going to happen. And you can't let that doubt stop you from what you're doing. As long as you're doing good work and you're making progress, you can't let any negativity, any negative thoughts, any, any, any of that creep in to stop you from what you're doing. Because you will be tested. Doing the work is hard enough. You're going, to be, you're, you're going to be throwing curveballs while you're doing your work, and it's going to get even harder. And that's when you have to keep going. It's like, I don't care how I feel. I don't care what's going on. I'm going to keep going in life regardless. And that's how you're going to become who you're going to become. And it's what a lot of people don't put themselves through. You have a choice. You could do it. You could absolutely do it. I know so many individuals from the past, they didn't do it. And now here I am on this journey because I wanted it. Whoever really wants it, who's going to speak it like you want it, you want it, you will live for it, you will die for it. Like this is it, this is your life, this is what you're doing, you want it. No matter what it takes, you're going to do it. You just are. Who cares who's not allowing the ride with you? Who cares who gives up? Who cares about anything? You're not going to. Regardless of what happens, you're going to keep going. Regardless of how tough it gets, you're going to keep going. Without a second thought. Who cares if you go to the gym alone? You're going to keep going. Who cares if you're working on that business alone? You're going to keep doing it. Who cares if you have to make music alone? You're still going to do it. Because you do what you want to do. And in this whole process, you will be tested. You will be throwing curveballs. Things will be going good. All of a sudden, boom, something crazy happens. You might just have got your license. Something good that happened to you, right? You might be a young kid. You get speeding tickets. You get fines. You might lose your license. That's like a wake-up call. You got tested. Now, how are you going to bounce back from that? That's what matters. Life is filled with lessons. Life is filled with curveballs. Life is filled with tests. And it's up to you to pass the test. It's up to you to be relentless. You're, you, you are a manifestation machine. That's what you is. And you're going to pass any tests that come along. It doesn't matter what happens. It doesn't matter how tough it is. It doesn't matter how much energy it takes. You'll go blue in the face working towards what you want. Because you want it, damn it, more than anything else. You know what? The people that don't want it more than anything else, they are the ones that don't get it. You wanted it more than anything else. They did not. And you're going to get it. And you're going to go crazy until you get it. Because you have a screw loose, like I said in the last video. You got to screw loose in the best way possible. And that's what you need. You got to be a little bit crazy about the things you're doing. And you know what? Having this mentality, it goes hand in hand with everything else in life. 
if you're that like obsessed about your life, about your vision, about your work, if you're that good in the things you're doing, you're going to be that good of a father. You're going to be that good of a mother. You're going to be that good of a relationship partner, of a husband, of a wife, of a friend. You're the one that shows up. You're the one when your friend calls you at 3 a.m. while you're sleeping and they get a flat tire, you go and save the day. Because you show up. In life, in business, in relationships, in friendships, you show up. And you know what? A lot of people don't deserve us. A lot of people don't deserve us. They don't. Ask yourself, <laughs> would they do the same thing for you? When you have a question, it could be a simple question. Are they going to answer? When you reach out, are they going to say something? Or are they just going to nothing? Because they don't really care about you. The truth will get revealed, folks. Everything in life is a test. You're going to see with your own two eyes what really is. That's a beautiful thing. When you live as deeply as I live, you see everything for what it is. Everything and everybody. You see it for what it is because you're so real and engraved in reality. You see everything else. You see the women that's for you and who's not for you. You see the friends who's for you and not for you. You see everything what's for you and not for you. And it, it's easy. And once upon a time, it was not like this. Once upon a time, we got hella tested. We failed some tests. You had to fail some tests in order to pass. You had to take some else in order to win. I'm willing to take more else to win. Are you? I'll lose as many times as I have to in life to win. I don't care. I'm here to stay until death itself. I'm here to make things right. If things are wrong, guess what? I'm here to make things right. If it's wrong, I'm gonna make it right. Cause that's how I do things. I make it right. If it's wrong, it's gonna get right. If it's wrong right now, I'm gonna make it right. It might take five years. I am gonna make that right. That's the type of passion real chosen ones have inside of themselves. That's the real passion we have. That's how serious we are. We don't settle for things that just don't make sense. We don't let people walk on us. We don't stay in situations that's not good for us. If we know it's not good, it don't matter. We cut it out. Everything is a test. You have to see things for what it is. Everything is a test. You have to see it for what it is. And don't be stupid. Don't be blind. You better see it for what it is. Do not be dumb. Because people be playing dumb. You have to see that for what it is. I do. And you have to as well. As deeply as I see it. Otherwise, you're going to get and life is gonna hit you like a ton of bricks. Guess what? I didn't always see things as deeply and as clearly and as crisp as I see them today. I, I've gotten hit by tons of bricks before in my life. Cause you have to take the L's before you take the W's, which means losses and wins for W. Cause life is a test. This is how God will ultimately test you before he elevates you before breakthroughs. Are you down for it? Are you going to go through it? Are you willing to face whatever you have to face in order to make things right? Like, do you really want to make things right? Do you really want things to be the way they're supposed to be? Because we can all sit here and be like, oh, things should be this way and shouldn't be this way and all this. What are you going to do about it? Are you going to make things 
right. Because that's all that matters. Is that you are going to set out on a mission, on a purpose, and you, damn it, are going to make things right. Regardless of how long it takes, it don't matter what curveballs you get hit with, you're going to knock them up out of the stadium. And you're going to keep going. You're running past first base, second base, third plate, or third base, and you're, you're going all the way to home plate, home run. Don't matter what ball gets thrown at me. Because we're going to knock it out of the park and we're going to keep going. We're going to win that championship. We're going to pass the tests. God will test you before your reality shifts. And if you stay in it long enough, if you stay in the fire, if you stay in those times and you don't go away, you're just there. You're stubborn. It's good to be stubborn. You should be stubborn. I'm stubborn. I'm very stubborn. You guys have no idea. Like, I'm very, I'm a very stubborn person. Like, I will get my way. That's how stubborn I am. And, and that's the people in life who really win. They're stubborn. I'm not taking no for an answer. Not happening. I'm going to stay in it. Because I got that kind of crazy. I got that kind of time. I got that kind of patience. I will die. Like, if I don't get what I want... I will, I will die because I'm going for what I want. You have to too. Raise the bar. Raise the standards. We ain't dealing with no mutts. They can go and lose in their own dirt lives. We're going to pass whatever tests come our way. We're going to do what we're going to do. Whether anybody likes it or not, we are built like this. And we are coming steamrolling and we're not going to stop we ain't stopping no time soon we are coming through the gates storming we are coming to make things right because guess what things are wrong we the ones to make it right <laughs>